Tokyo at the next Olympic Games. But recently, Mike Wedderburn met up with a young lady for whom competing in one event at one Olympics certainly won't be enough. It's 4.30 in the morning here in Brentwood in Essex, and most sensible people are still safely tucked up in bed. But not everyone, you see, if you're 15 years old and you aim to be an Olympic runner and an Olympic swimmer, then it's about this time that you get up and go to work. Jodie Swallow is a phenomenon. She has remarkable talent in the pool, on the track, and across country. Last year, the Essex schoolgirl won 10 national titles, six as an athlete, and four in the water. But her success is very much a family affair. Every morning, either mum or dad make sure that Jodie and her elder sister Joanna, who's also a talented athlete and swimmer, get off to a bright, if somewhat, early start. Bye. Bye, Joe. You're unbelievable. Get up at, well, about 10 to 5, come here, train, go to school. Um, I might do something at lunchtime and then I've got athletics or swimming in the evening. It's getting quite tough at the moment because I've got all the trials coming up and all GCSEs and stuff, so I'm having to fit the homework in a little bit now. Jodie's organisation would put the armed forces to shame, and with her dedication, it's not surprising that those around her believe she'll get to the very top. She sort of said to me, well, I was thinking about it. I'd probably go to the first Olympics as a swimmer and the second Olympics as an athlete. And it came over so natural, I just believed it. And I think that gave me the impetus to say, yes, we can do something with her. Her natural attribute is her courage, if you wish. That makes her special. Uh, a lot of people, there's probably more people with talent, quote, whatever that means, in this world. But if you can fit it with the ability to have a go at it, and that's what she's got, that makes her rather special. You're unbelievable. Despite her undoubted talent, Jodie's just another pupil at Cooper's Company in Coburn School in Upminster. And there's no way that her education takes a back seat behind her athletic prowess. Because GCSEs are just around the corner and Jodie's taking 11 of them. And the signs are pretty good. In her mocks, she notched up seven A's and two B's. She's truly an all-rounder. You're unbelievable. School's out, but the tough regime continues. Her coach, though, has no problem with the fact she swims as well. It's benefited so far. It gives her tremendous strength and endurance, which carry on well into the running. We just have to do some fine-tuning there. If I get to the top level at one of them, I'll have to ease down at the other. But hopefully I can carry on going play as far as I can go. I want to get to the Olympics. It would be nice if I could do it in post sports. It might sound a bit ambitious, but, you know, it's a dream, so... You're unbelievable. Well, there's a name to look out for in the future. Also, keep an eye out for the next Insider's Guide to the Olympics. It'll be on May the 31st, when we'll be having another in-depth look at an Olympic sport. There'll be a Sydney scoop from Michael, and also we'll be introducing some more medals.